Hello everyone, it's been a while since I vlogged. My last vlog was a month ago. So it's been a while since I like vlog. I'm sorry about that. I've been kinda busy, um, you know, working and you know, paying bills and you know, living my life. Now it's currently fall and you know what that means? It means winter is just around the corner. This year went by so fast. This is going to be 2015. I'm like, where did the time go? The time just flew by, you know? Then I don't have any problem. I don't have problem with the fall, really. I mean, like, I prefer the heat. Anybody knows me knows that I prefer the heat. I prefer, like, 100 degrees, 120 degrees. That's what, that's what I prefer. But I don't mind the fall. The fall, fall is just fine. Fall and spring is fine. But the only thing I have problem with is winter. And, that, and then I live in New York, so, you know, we get pretty cold over here, but you just you just learn to deal with the weather. You you, you deal with it. You try and deal with it the best you can. That's what you do with life. You try to do the best that you can with it. And every season have its reason. So everything have its reason. So you don't really question mother nature. I mean, the weather is what it is. So now let's talk about the, what this vlog is about. The, the vlog is about, about about the weather. You know, it's, it's about my um my dress. If you like, let me come close so you you can kind of see it. Yeah, let me help you see it a little better. I'm gonna take off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like let you see the full effect of my beautiful dreads on um, my babies. Let me fix it up for you if you can see it better. So, so voila, my beautiful dreads. What do you think? My dreads are right now. They're just um the six months old. Pretty soon they're gonna be seven months. They're gonna be seven months on October 9th. So that's really soon. And they will be fully mature. That means they'll be one year old on March 9th, 2015. And I'm really looking forward to be fully mature because it'll be less messy and it'll be longer. I won't have my my beautiful ball cut no more. It'll be it'll be longer. So I, like I'm really looking forward to, to fully mature. And that's why you think before I even talk about drinking, I was like really I was really scared about getting dressed because I thought I was going to dislike it. I thought I was going to hate it and I ended up cutting off all my hair. So I was really hesitant before I, to do the dress. So before I even thought about doing the dress, I went on Google. I, t I typed dreadlocks and I saw all the different kind of, I, I saw a lot of pictures and I saw a lot of videos on what to expect when you get dressed. And they were really helpful and they really helped me to decide to try it. And so here I am, seven, no, actually six months, six months now. And I like it. I'm six months into the dreading process. I like it. I don't regret it at all. Getting the dreads. I mean, <clears throat> it's nothing like it. You you get up and your hair is ready to go. You don't have to do much to your hair. All you do is get dressed, brush your teeth, take a shower, and you, your hair is ready to go. And that's like the best part about dreads. You know, your hair is always ready to go, and you don't have to do much to it. So yeah, that saves you a lot of time. For someone like me, that take like uh huh forever to get ready. That little time of not doing my spending doing my hair, it really makes a big difference. It makes a difference in how early I get up. Because I have to get up that early because I don't, have to, I don't take that long to, to... I don't want to take that long as I used to when I, when I have normal hair. It takes me a real while to cut my hair and get dressed. So it takes me longer. So now with the dreads, it's, the time is really shorter. So um, that's definitely one plus about dreads. Uh, well, a but a con about dreads, the bad part about dreads is that at first it's going to be messy, it's gonna be wild, and you gotta prepare yourself for it. You have to have to write, you have to get uh, some hats, some bands, whatever you need to make sure that it looks that that you, whatever you, you need to help to prepare you for your messy hair, because it's gonna get messy. So you gotta prepare yourself for that. And you gotta be, and you make sure you have. If you're not a pushing person. Then dreadlocks on is not for you because dreadlock is very is is a is a very patient thing. You have to be very patient. If you're not patient, and you just want it to be fast. Then dreads not for you because it's gonna take it's gonna take a while. Like I say, it takes a, about a, for most people it takes about a year for it to be fully mature for it to look nice and we look like dreads. It takes like a year, so that's a that's a big commitment. If you're not if you, also if you're not if you know if you have problem making commitments and you're always changing your mind, then you might not want to consider dreadlocks may not be for you because. You, Drillax is a commitment. It's a big commitment because if you change your mind, if you are suddenly just change your mind and say I want dreads, then it's not, it's not as simple as now you could comb your hair. Now you have to probably cut it all off and start from fresh. So yeah, so 
you have to be very committed to you guys gotta be committed to it you have to be patient and now let's talk about the different type, type of ways to get dreads the first one I, I like to talk about is for people lazy like me I'm very lazy so yeah the free form that, that's for lazy people like me that way that, that one is just it's just how it sounds it's it's just how it sounds it's, it's free form you like you like you let the dreads grow freely you know you don't do nothing to it you just keep it clean so if you're lazy that might be the right one for you free form like let the dress do what i do they be or they be different size they be different size they be different length they, they be they just be wild they you have look wild because you're not detecting how the dress gonna be you're starting to do whatever you do so it's, it's gonna be wild <clears throat> now when I, another one is back coming back coming back coming is a good way to get dreads and another one the way i do is um it's the twist. I, I take the my hair like this. I separate it. I untangle it, and you know, I take this. I twist it. I put the locking gel, and I put my clamp, and I, you know that's how I do it. If you want to see, this is what I use. This is what I use. This is I what I use to help lock my hair. It's like a gel. It helps. It helps the. It helps, it helps my hair lock. And. I use this for the itch because sometimes my hair get real itchy. It gets real itchy, and this this spray helps for the itch. So basically, dreadlocks is the best on, on what kind of person you are. What kind of dreadlocks you should get is based. On, you can you can ask somebody what, what kind of dreadlocks you should get. Because it's based on you. If you want it to be, if you're a person that's really neat and like pretty, so I guess what you the one you want to do is like twisting or the back combing because that one makes it nice and small and pretty. But if you're really wild, you have a wild personality, and you and you, and you like whatever. So I guess for that one, the best one for you would be the free form. It, it depends on you and your lifestyle and what kind of job you have. Because for example, the kind of job I have, I do security. So the kind of job I have, my job, my boss is very picky on how your, how your uniform is how your hair is so I, I couldn't honestly do the free form because they were complaining about it they were like what happened to your hair you gotta fix it they, they were, they, I couldn't do the free form because they were complaining about it so it depends on your job too it depends on your job because if you have a job that's very strict on, on, your, on your appearance you obviously can't do your hair the way you want to they will complain about it but if you have a job that really don't care how you do your hair I guess then you could do the free form it, it depends on your job it depends on your relationship and your friends. I mean, if you keep up your tank, then you, if you both don't like it, that might influence you not to get dressed. It, it, it just depends. I think, I mean, I'm watching this video about this woman who, like, let her hair go so long. It's like a very popular, um, it's like had the longest dreadlocks, a real record for the longest dreadlocks. It's very long, and she said that the dreadlocks have become part of her. So she don't want to cut it. She, she want to let it go really long. She, let, she did let it go real long, so because the jealous have become part of her become part of her personality and that's how i feel the jealous is becomes part of, it's like it becomes part of you it's, it's part of your life now you know it shows your hard work if or it shows your lack of hard work i mean and you keep it clean it's your baby you take care of it you, and if you don't take care of it then it's gonna look ugly and if you don't clean it it's gonna be dirty it's gonna be itchy that's why i use the itching cream, the itching spray because it helps the with it. Because my hair get real itchy even after I wash it, something gets real itchy. And yeah, so it, so that's why I use the spray because it's not, yeah, because like when you have, have braids and dreads, your hair get real itchy and you want some kind of relief, you know. So this, so yeah, this it depends on you. Basically, it depends on you. There's no, there's no good. I saw, I heard some people saying that your dress look bad, you just look good. I mean, I don't think this. Let's just think that it looks bad, it looks good. I mean, if it looks messy and, and that's you and that's how your personality is, I, I will never say that 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 that's a bad dress. I don't mean it's bad, it's just your personality. If you want it to be really messy, then let it be messy. If you want it to be real neat and nice, then let it be real neat and nice. So there's no wrong way or right way to do dreads, and there's no color for dreads. It's not, it's not only a black person thing. Some people think that dreads are for black people, it's not for white people. It's not true. I mean, I saw. It's plenty of white people that have dreads. It's not a color thing. Anybody could get dreads. Anybody, any, any race, Asians could get dreads. White people could get dreads. It's not. There's no color. There's no. Co there's no such thing as color for dreads. There's not. It's not like if you're white and you say I want to get dreads and they're like, oh, that's too bad. You can't get dreads. It's not even for black people. That's that's silly. Anybody could get dreads. 
and someone you've been put in the patience and the work then go then you know